You ask them, I think it's about time you get married. And God said, I want you to marry. Now, Jose, Jose names means God saves. But I wanted to get married to Gomez. Now, Gomez was. And she had a name written in. In, a, in restroom walls, if you know what I mean. She was the last to be considered to become a deaconess in the church. And God said to her, I wanted to go and marry to Gomez. Gomez means. Not ready, but I'm getting there. Amen? So, God says, hooked up, but not ready. Now, the story of Hosea is not just a play with words. God was teaching Hosea of his relationship with, with his people. Amen? And they had, a, they had three children. Let's turn to the book of Hosea for one minute. And I'm going to close with this story. Ezekiel, Daniel, Jose. Now, could you imagine what Jose's parents was thinking when, when he got, was going to get married to Goma? They must have said to themselves, this boy's time in the ministry suddenly messed him up because in, in a seminary, they said, oh, I mean, of all the other women, Goma, which means not ready, but I'm getting there. You know, the first son was Jared, then they had a daughter, Larumima, and then Lomami. Now the third one means not my child, it was not his child. Because it didn't resemble who was there. It didn't have his nose or his color or the texture of his hair. Nothing. Not my baby. So, so God was saying to Israel, because you were whoring after other gods, you are not my people. Yet, in all of that, God keeps his promises. Amen. I want us to go beyond what we can see with our normal eyes. It is not based on what we have or based on our performance but based on what God has promised, amen? Because this ship is going to make harbor. It's going to land safely, amen? Yes. The church will triumph. The thing is, will you and I be there when it triumphs, amen? Yes. That is the question we need to ask ourselves because Jesus said, don't rejoice because you cast out devils or you raise the dead. Rejoice that your names are retained in the last book of life, amen? Yes. You might be nothing in this life. You might be nothing to nobody. But in God's eyes, in God's sight, we are somebody, amen? Yes. So always remember that, never forget that, never doubt that you are, you are a nobody. In Christ, we are somebody, you are special, amen? And He loves you because He has focused on you, amen? Mm. That should make us feel special, amen? Yes. So the greatest gift we have, friend of mine, is the power to choose. Now, the time is coming when your choice may not be valid. For example, what I'm trying to say is, let's say Jay's wife wants a yacht for the holiday season, a hundred for the yacht. Now, with all the money Jay has, I don't know if he can afford the yacht. Now, that might be impossible because it costs millions of dollars, right? So, so his wife, his romantic interest can choose that yet until she gets blue in the face. It may never become a reality, amen? Amen. But, <laughs> but, 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 but when God makes his promise, amen, it always becomes a reality because the choice is valid, amen? Yeah. Because the one who is giving the promise has the goods. He can back up his words, amen? So, so when, when, when God, you know when God gave the promise that Christ will become the, the mediator for the fallen race, that he will be the one to buy back the human race? Amen. The thing had not happened as yet. 
It happened thousands of years after when Christ died on the cross. But when God gave a promise, you can take that to the bank because God's word will not return unto him for it. Amen? Amen. You call that a prolific sacrifice. For example, when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you buy your merchandise, and now you pay with a check or your credit card, right? Now you, you know that you don't have enough money to clear the check, but you know that it will take about two days to clear the check. Now the, the teller takes your credit card or your check as cash. They don't know you don't have the money, amen? So you will try to beat the bank before they get to the bank, amen? So you call that a prolific payment, amen? They take it as reality, amen? So when God gave the promise of the coming Messiah, we can take that to the bank because God's promise will come to pass, amen? So when God says he chose you, you are special to him. He has focused on you. You are special, you are unique, you are preferred. You are valuable to him. You can take that to the bank. It doesn't matter what the devil says, amen? Yes. Because he is done for. Yes. He got beat in heaven. When Christ came down here, he got beat again, amen? Yes. He is a defeated foe. Christ is the mighty conqueror. And if Christ be for you, who can be against you, amen? No, I think this is a good message, what do you say? Amen? I'm going to say it because you're not saying amen. Amen? amen. Now, friend of mine, God loves us with an everlasting love, amen? amen? And one of these days, friend of mine, is going to be alright because Jesus is coming again. Amen. Who wants to live in this world where everything in this life is of a temporal existence? Nothing lasts. It doesn't matter the, the fancy house or the cars or the job that we have. Our dependence should be on Christ, amen? Not on the things we have because the arm of flesh and those who put our trust and our confidence you know, in men, the Bible says the arm of flesh will fail you. But God never fails us, amen? amen. He is the only true solid foundation. We are to build on the rock, amen? amen? Not on the sinking sand. Apart from Jesus, if we are building not on Christ, then we are building with straws, amen? amen? But in Christ, we have a solid, a firm foundation that will stand the test of time, amen? Yes. Amen. Now, I'm already over time, but I'm going to close, amen? amen. You gotta blame the pastor and you gotta blame um, the storyteller because they might be under time. But God loves us, friend of mine. What I'm saying to us, friend of mine, don't get discouraged, amen? The time will come when you're gonna feel alone. <coughs> there may not be somebody to encourage you to, or to help you. You may feel that you're the only one. And, and Elijah felt like that one day until God had opened his eyes, amen? amen. I have 7,000. And when he opened his eyes, when the servant his, uh, his assistant, God said, he said to God, open his eyes. You know, he saw God's army on the, on the mountains, amen? amen? And when Elisha Mount came and told him, he was the only one. And God said, I have 7,000 who have not yet bought a need to be a friend of mine. God has his chosen people, amen? amen? And they may not come right now, but the time is coming when they will come, Amen. Make sure that nobody steal your crown, amen? amen? And as we about to close, friend of mine, never doubt the promises of God, amen? amen. Because what he has promised will come to pass, yes. amen? amen? And if you want to be focused on Christ, if you want to make him priority number one, first place, first preference in your life, every day from now on, uh, will you stand with me as you're going to close this meeting in prayer? If this is your commitment. Our closing hymn is 75. number 75.
and go to Rose and go down there and bid for your wife. He bid 30 pieces of silver. When the devil said to Jesus, it's going to cost you a lot to redeem. It's going to cost you the gold of your blood and the silver of your tears. Christ said, just name your price. Amen? It doesn't matter what the cost, I'm going to pay the price. We are bought with a price, friend of mine, and if God's pet of the angels that sin, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? As every head is born and every eye is closed, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for being so good to us. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness, your grace, and your mercy, for your keeping power. Forgive our backsliding, our murmurings, and our complainings. And by your grace and your mercy, keep us, Lord, for we cannot keep ourselves. Help our unbelief. Help our feeble efforts, Lord, and use us with all our faults and our flaws to tell somebody about Jesus' love and his soon coming. Keep us safe today, Lord, and, and, and we pray, Lord, that you will make our lives a blessing. Into your hands we commit ourselves. Thank you for your word. And we ask all his mercy in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you.